Diamador Lenoir. What have you seen for seen from Lenoir? Is he is his stock up or down? So Lenoir, his stock is up. It's I think I think it goes up a long ways. I really liked the kind of sticky man style cover she was playing in the zone. Uh, when he was covering 84 in the first half, that he was positioned perfectly. He gets his arm in there. It was just textbook. So I love what he did. And that force, by the way, that was on third and five. That forced the fourth down. So drive stall, all because of him. Great, great route. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like he is the better of the rookie corners. And it looks like if he can play the way he's played in preseason so far, he might be a really good backup who could start a few games if necessary, which we think is probably going to be necessary given the health history of the starting two corners, Mosley and Verrett. He, I was about to say, he is the backup to Mosley, guaranteed. He should also be the backup to K1. Yes. Oh, I like that too. See, the thing is, I haven't seen them cross-train Len, Lenoir, Lenore. And I think there's two schools of thought with a rookie. One is uh, throw him in the deep end and see what he can we'll see what he can do or give him one thing put one thing on his plate let him master that and then expand his role here too it seems like the niners are going with that one as opposed to him being you know mediocre or bad at a bunch of things good at one so i don't know if it's the right thing to do but i don't know if he is the backup nickel right now there may be someone else we're going to get to him a little later but uh, yeah his this guy's stock is definitely up he could be a starter by the end of the season a starter by next year yeah i, I like what he's doing he's really good crossing over the middle he can stick with the receivers better than a lot of these other backups on the team, if not all of them. He's right on their back, and he doesn't do it in a way where it's a bump-style coverage. He's just glued to them the whole time, and it's not interference. And he also, he had his, his head turned around on every single throw. It's like, he, it's like someone corrected that for him. Right, yeah. Uh, you know who else is a lot like that? Like, like what you just described? Ferret. Yes, he's right on the back of the receiver head turned and he, they don't but neither one of them is biting on the, on the receiver because as a receiver you can turn your head and and the corner thinks the ball is on the way good corners don't bite on that though yeah. they wait and that's what made randy moss my, my good friend kwanzaa barnes he's a football coach he brought this up with me randy moss was so good at timing things with his hands so he could reel really quickly right. and, as and a not result, just like show it yeah right because as a back if a guy starts doing this and looks yeah. up like this. That's when you start getting wide-eyed, you know, and, and that's when you start getting your hand and your head turned around. So Lenoir is really good at not biting on that kind of thing. Verrett's a master. Yeah. Uh, Len Lenore, from what I understand, has intercepted a pass, broken up a pass, gotten targeted six times, given up zero completions. That's a good start. It doesn't mean yeah. that he'll be a great starter in the NFL, but so far, hell of a preseason player, hell of a backup, good, good fifth-round pick for sure. Stop yeah. up. 84 was also a lot bigger than him from what I was seeing on the field. So that he stuck with that guy over the middle. Maybe it was a tight end. I don't remember. Yeah, you know, for a 5'10 cornerback, he seems to play a little bit bigger than that. I like Lenore so far. So stock okay, the, up. The other rookie cornerback, Ambry Thomas, stock up or down? Stock way down. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um, if you remember when I was looking at him coming out of the draft, and I, you know, I had a good conversation with a Michigan fan uh, who kind of disagreed on this. He said, no, 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 he's really good deep. No, he's not. I, and I said it at the beginning that he gets burned deep. Yeah. And what it's, it's deceptive because he is so strong and he's so good at the line of scrimmage, it looks like. But remember what I said about Lenoir? He was not biting on the eyes of the receiver. He was waiting for the whole body language to kick in to make that reception. Thomas had perfect coverage on that deep pass over his head. Mm -hmm. The receiver turned his head honestly too soon, I feel. He turned it over his shoulder and immediately Thomas turns around almost wild-eyed looking lost and he had his head way turned over and if you notice it slowed his route down and that's when the separation began to be he's gonna have to work on his timing the silver lining he had his head turned this time yeah but the, the guy he, who was the same way in my opinion who would be in phase i think like stride for stride with a guy until he turned around and then he would just lose him chris culliver chris culliver yeah the super bowl oh yeah chris culliver yep yep absolutely yep. that's the vibe i'm getting from ambry thomas now he does have the long, because Chris Culliver was built perfectly too. Six feet tall. Yeah, he was strong pounds, as well. Yeah. Strong, 4'3 runner. It's just that when it was time to find the ball, it was like, he was it, he was lost. And um, not only that from Thomas, he commits penalties. So it doesn't matter what your natural ability is. Secondary players, we are all going to commit penalties when we are behind. Yeah. Because because the option is to let him go. And we're just not going to do that. It's instinct, you, you know, fear factor. 
kind of comes into play and you just you, you start grabbing because you're not in position. So Thomas is out of position a lot of the time. And it, it is concerning, but, you know, he wasn't supposed to start this year. But his stock is down. Lenoir is leapfrogging him. No problem. Yeah, Lenoir looks like the guy who should have been drafted in round three and Thomas the one who should have been drafted in round five. It was the other way around because Thomas is taller, he has longer arms, he's faster. It just looks like Lenore's better at football, which is always important, the guy who plays football better. I don't know about Absolutely. Thomas. You know, he, missed, he didn't play last year. Maybe he's just rusty. Um, but I kind of reminding me a little bit of, and this guy's actually pretty good, but Shaq Griffin. To, to me, the way I always thought of Shaq Griffin when he would come to the Niners is, yeah, he's a good athlete, but you know he's going to commit one pass interference a game. At the least Seahawks. one game. Oh, yeah, now he's with Jacksonville, I think. And he's Got a you. pretty good player. He's gotten a lot of money. Ambry Thomas isn't that good yet. But even at his best, you like, no, he's going to get a PI call in this game. That's the way he plays. So. Yeah, or he's going to be out of position and give a bomb plays. Uh, real quick, uh, to take some time from Thomas. Uh, we didn't talk about him from the beginning, but I wanted to talk about Haha Clinton Dix real quick. Sure. Number 49, I think, is the jersey number he, he's wearing now. Mm-hmm. So a couple of things from him that were horrible. The stick pass to the end zone where he rolls out and the D-line pressure is really good. Marcel Harris comes down with a linebacker and a D-lineman and he completely seals the edge. Clinton Dix is covering the back of the end zone receiver and for some reason he comes flying downhill to add his, I don't know, his, his touch to, 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 to the sack and he completely abandons his assignment. The quarterback just dunks it right over his head. Touchdown. Terrible, terrible. And here's the thing. Clinton Dix, I think, was trying too hard to be the savior and drill the quarterback. But, dude, know your lane and stay in it. He's too experienced and too good for this. I'm going to write that so one he's off. He's freelancing, playing hero ball when he needs to, like, play his position. Yeah, that was 100% his fault, that touchdown. And Lenoir picked it up. He saw what was going to happen, and he was probably two, yard, two three yards away when, when the guy caught the ball. He actually came off his assignment as soon as he saw it. So, also, he was beat when B.W. Webb was called for a pass interference into the end zone. That should have been a touchdown. It was a bad pass by Stick. So stock down, haha, ha, Clinton Dix. Absolutely. But these are mental errors, and it's one of those things where you can correct them. It's not a, it was not his abilities. It was his judgments. So his stock right. is a little bit down. This and is a guy who got cut by the Cowboys last year. Maybe it's because of things like this. We, we shouldn't just assume that he's going to make this team. Right. And so his stock is definitely down. But we'll, we'll go past him now.